we've got ourselves a celebrity sighting. Who knew Lori had such famous and powerful friends? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today we're in Colts Neck, New Jersey. We've got a beautiful home here that's gonna get a brand new water feature. What a beautiful setting. All these windows right off the kitchen. You've got a beautiful flagstone patio up top here. And out here, starting in front of this group of trees, we're gonna be beginning upon this waterfall. The idea is we're gonna build up a berm, not super high. We're gonna bring it up maybe 18 inches, two feet. Come out this way with a stream. I wanna do a deep section right here. Lori would love to have a lily, so we're gonna make this about 18 inches deep. Then it's gonna make a hard turn down the hill, and you can see she's already got her lawn chair set up. This is gonna be her spot. Right about here, we're gonna be digging and installing a 400 gallon reservoir. That's gonna be able to give us enough water to pump from here back up to where the waterfall starts and make its way meandering down through cascades and streams back into the system. She'd like to have it so this kind of slopes in. You get a pool of water here. She loves wildlife, deer, birds, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna come use this water feature as their watering hole. And this is gonna be her spot. She wants to be able to sit here, possibly even put her feet in the water and just take it all in. I love doing jobs like this. Lori's been texting me for the last week or so, just super amped and excited. Can't wait to get this started. Let's not make her wait any longer. Let's get this thing laid out, dig the reservoir, and make this happen. Before we move on, let's find out how well do you pay attention. Somewhere in the video, the team gave the moniker to the cardboard cutout of a famous artist. What was it? Drop your answers in the comments below. Alright, so we've got all of our 12 large aqua blocks test fit in the hole. We do this to make sure our excavation is perfect, all the blocks are nice and level, we got enough room on the sides to backfill. You can see we have our pondless vault there too, it's going to have some extensions on it, it's where the pump sits. So now we can pull them out, get the liner in, and get it done. You almost got everything, Brennan. That was pretty good. Not quite there, but it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so we do test fit, make sure that before we go and drag the fabric and the liner and all that stuff in the hole and find out that we're like too close on one side, put all the blocks in, we are gonna do a little bit of extra excavating. What's great about the fact that we recess this is now back behind it, we can actually carve into the earth instead of building up to create that first cascade that's gonna come into our reservoir. Then back behind that, we'll get some really nice chicane of a pooling area, probably heading back that way before we create another cascade, which is gonna come out of that deeper spot where the lily's gonna live. One of the things we do before we start working and moving our dirt around is we strip all the grass off. We don't wanna have grass underneath our fill soil. This is all organic. That will actually decompose and break down and cause settling. So we will make sure we remove all the grass then we're putting our fill dirt on, which is going to create our berm to start this waterfall over here underneath the trees. day two we've got ourselves a celebrity sighting who knew Lori had such famous and powerful friends <laughs> so this is funny she put this out here we got the rock on the MT <laughs> as you can tell they're no fun around here start off today we got more rocks with us we're actually gonna start going into this pooling area where we're gonna be doing the, the little lily pool we've got a transition section right here where We've got to build another set of waterfalls and then we could do our overlap. That's where our 15 foot wide liner is going to meet up with this 20 foot. We're going to drape that over into the section. This will all get closed up with a waterfall. 
Then we can go inside here and actually build this out to create this small ponding area before we go this direction with more cascades. All right, guys, I'm gonna share a pro tip with you. We're gonna be sealing up behind these rocks. Right now, Brendan, if you show them. Yep. Right now, we got this big gap back in here. So I want water to come from a waterfall here into this pool. It's gonna change directions and I want it to go off that waterfall. Now, if water came down here right now, it would just fill up inside here and it would all dump back behind these rocks, never actually making a waterfall. So in order to do that, we're gonna seal all this up. I'm gonna be using foam to do that, as well as a little bit of fabric. So what I'm gonna do first is, I got these huge cavities back in here. I'm gonna pack that full of this gravel. We're using a three quarter inch river stone. I'm gonna pack that all in super tight, all the way through here, get it up to about maybe three inches from the top of the rock. This is our spill stone here, so is this. Then I'm gonna seal the whole thing with foam. Now I want a good contact between the rock and our fabric but I also want to get behind the fabric. So this is the actual liner. That's what's keeping our water in the system. Before I foam on top of the gravel, I'm going to put a bead of foam all back in here and then pull my fabric back. So this actually seals to the liner. Then I've got to seal in between the fabric and the rock. So I've covered all those bases. So all those layers have been foamed together and then the water is going to have no choice but to come up over the top of that foam and then up and over these waterfalls. Now it's a little bit hot out. This liner gets hot. One of the tricks that I use when helping to cure foam is water. So I'll just take a water bottle, actually just cut a couple slits in the top, and I'll use it as a little sprayer. I'm gonna actually wet the rocks. And I'll also wet the liner a little bit. Now, I, when I say wet, I don't mean I don't want it soaking wet, just damp so that we'll get good adhesion with the foam. And then once we actually foam, I'll spray the top of the foam as well. This is gonna give it like a shell that I can then push down, get it nice and flat, and it's gonna cure super hard. I love customers like Lori. We show up this morning. We got Bob, Bob, uh, Bob Moss. Bob Moss is on the job. I will shake it off and then <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. Nothing but inspiration here. Apparently my microphone can see what's happening on the job. All right, here's what this pooling area looks like. These guys did a great job yesterday getting this rocked in. We've got a cool edge stone right here that she'll be able to go out on. When the kids are over, they can kind of hang out here. There'll be a lily inside here, taking up most of this pool where the waterfall comes in. Today, we're gonna finish this up. We got a waterfall here that's gonna be coming into this pool. Another cool like back and forth sliding action type waterfall. We wanna flank this on the right side. Then we'll come outside the liner and actually build up with some rock work, just some outcropping so that we can hold this up and again, protect those trees that are behind where we're gonna start this. From here, we're gonna go up to the top. This is where our spillway will go and that's gonna start our waterfall. It's fed from the reservoir down the bottom, so we got a short run of three inch pipe up to here. This is gonna be such a cool spot here coming out from these arborvitae trees. The views from the windows are gonna be spectacular. Stick around, we are almost finished. Give a thumbs up, Joe.
I watch your comments and you're always asking me to come back and see these water features after a few months when they've had a chance to mature. That's what we're doing today. It looks just magnificent. That lily came up in the deep section of that pooling area. The landscape's starting to come into play. Like these trees have definitely had some time to grow and they look fantastic. Everything survived, which is always a good sign. I'm a huge fan of these low waterfalls, using these large, big flat rocks to kind of flank things out, having water just rolling off the surface. I love these type of waterfalls. They, to me, they look the most natural. Firming up this entire waterfall area was the right move. That gave us the opportunity to have a falls facing the main viewing area, which is the family room, the kitchen, and this big bluestone patio. It was important to do it in such a way that it didn't look like a volcano. That's why it's so crucial to bring those berms out so far from the origination of the waterfall. We're talking like 10 feet this way. It's another 15 or 20 feet that way. I love spots like this right here. We're using the weight of that water coming around, riding up on the rock. As it gains velocity and goes down, it's churning, giving it that really cool like eddy effect you would see in a natural stream. And then you've got the other one falling next to it into that deep pool. This pool here is probably about six inches deep and that's where you get the sound from. You're gonna get more of those bass tones when you're going into deeper water. If this was falling on top of another rock, it'd be more of a crashing, like a high-pitched treble sound. This is really nice where it's sliding in there and doing that turning. And then it's building up behind this one where it slopes in thick, thick water running into there, kind of mimicking the same effect right here where it's turning, creating those air bubbles, aerating everything. And then over here, we've got that 18-inch deep pool. That lily is doing fantastic. Now, we plant our lilies inside pots. The reason we do that is twofold. We don't want them taking over the pond because they would just start sending roots through all the rock and gravel. In the end, it could end up making a mess. Putting in the pot lets us contain it. It also gives us the opportunity to split that lily next season or the season after when it becomes too much for that pot. So we can either end up with a second lily or if it's too much for this space, we just take it out and replant the half of it. And that gives it a chance to really stay healthy and continue to bloom each and every year. Mm -hmm. 